Pharmacy CUSC exams with answer. Part 7. Number 91. Which of the following cannot be treatment option in hyperkalemia? A. Calcium gluconate. B. Metoprolol. C. Insulin or glucose. D. Albuterol. The answer is B. Number 92. A 45 years old man diagnosed with chronic kidney disease and type 2 diabetes mellitus. Which of the following medication is less effective for this patient? A. Inalapril. B. Atenolol. C. Lisinopril. D. Candesartan. The answer is. B. Number 93. Which one of the following antifungal medication has the highest risk of drug induced renal toxicity? A. Ketoconazole. B. Fluconazole. C. Amphotericin. D. Itraconazole. The answer is C. Number 94. Which of the following is not healthy lifestyle? A. Avoid smoking. B. Moderate to vigorous activity gerson 30 minutes per day. C. Body mass index gerson 30 kg per meter square. D. Healthy day score. The answer is C. Number 95. Which of the following is the antihypertensive choice of medication for pregnant mother? A. Nalapril. B. Metylopa. C. Lisinopril. D. Candesartan. The answer is Number 96. Which groups of antihypertensive medications are generally considered as second line and used for patients having benign prostate hyperplasia or BPH? A. Beta blockers. B. Alpha blockers. C. S inhibitors. D. Diuretics. The answer is. B. Number 9, sir. Which one of the following medications don't have mortality benefit but use it as symptomatic treatment and decrease hospitalization among heart failure patients? A. S inhibitors. B. Potassium sparing diuretics. C. Gigoxin. D. Alpha blockers. The answer is C. Number 98. Which of the following is the long term goals following myocardial infarction? A. Prevent the development of systolic heart failure. B. Prevent recurrent myocardial infarction and stroke. C. Prevent is including sudden coracles. D. All are correct. The answer is D. Number 99. Which of the following medications are generally contraindicated or should be used with caution for asthmatic patients? A. Inalapril. B. Amlodipine. C. Gigoxin. D. Propranol. The answer is D. Number 100. A 40 years old male patient was on warfarin therapy for DVD prophylaxis after left knee amputation. The patient took a very high dose of warfarin mistakenly, started to have bruises.
in his hands indicated risk of bleeding. Which one of the following should be used as antidotes for this patient? A. Protamine sulfates. B. Aspirin. C. Heparin. D. Vitamin K. The answer is D. Number 101. A 52 years old man has a past history of chronic stable angina and hypertension. He is experiencing chest pain twice weekly while being treated with a 100 mg daily. His BP is 146 with 90 mm mercury or 144 with 92 mm mercury pain repeated and his HR is 58 beats per minute. Which of the following is the most appropriate agent to be added in this patient? A. Nifepine, sustained release 30 mg daily. B. Enalapril, 20 mg daily. C. XCD, 12.5 mg daily. D. Lozartan, 150 mg daily. The answer is a. Number one or two, which adverse effects of lisinopril can be avoided by switching to candesartan? A. Cough. B. Hypertension. C. Hyperkalemia. D. Renal failure. The answer is A. Number one or three, which of the following therapies are shown to reduce the risk of stroke following myocardial infarction? A. Warfarin B. Aspirin C. Simvastatin D. All of the upper The answer is D. Number 104 which one of the following antipsychotic medications is associated with high risk of extrapyramidal side effects? A. Colozapin B. Haloperidol C. Olanzapin D. Quashapin The answer is B. Number 105 all of the following side effects of most antipsychotic and antidepressant medications are reasons for poor adherence among the patients, except A. Weight loss B. Sedation C. Weight gain D. Sexual dysfunction The answer is A. Is that a way to change the message in the bird? The last time I did it, I'm going to leave you with a comment. The last time to learn, the last time I did it, the channel can subscribe. I'm going to be safe, bro. Namaste, Kanalan. Bye, bye. Also, good to see you again. Welcome, guys. Ciao.